Only less than half a million of those who served in World War II are still living. Our Erin Lish was lucky enough to sit down with one of those service members. She's live this morning as he rec recounts his story from 1944. Erin. Good morning. So we are here at Arsenal Tech and we are in the memorial section here. You can see there are thousands of names of those who have served our country. And for one alumni, he enlisted in the Air Force in World War II. And to this day, he cannot forget the memories of D-Day. Well, it was a, a very emotional experience. At only 19 years old, Bob Pedigo was in the 453rd Bomb Group of the 8th Air Force. On June 5th, 1944, Pedigo was briefed with his squadron about the next morning. He did not say what it was, but we surmised and we were right. About 2 in the morning, Pedigo was about to head over to the beaches of Normandy. This was D-Day. We went inland and uh, bombed a big German encampment. He had a bird's eye view and he'll never forget the look of the channel. The channel was so full of shipping that it looked like you could walk across the channel uh, stepping from boat to boat like stepping stones. More than 5,000 ships and 13,000 planes supported the invasion. It's estimated 10,000 Allied troops were killed, wounded, or missing in action. That was the main thing. I could see them coming ashore, you know. Being shot couldn't help have feelings for him, you know. Pedigo knew they were changing the path of the war as the Allies stormed the shores of Normandy by air, land, and sea. Uh, we knew what a big job we were tackling and, and uh, how, how much uh, area we were out to free. And we sure did. The war ended just over a year later in 45. Pedigo's briefing, briefing officer that day before the invasion was Jimmy Stewart. You know, the actor from It's a Wonderful Life and Vertigo. They actually became very good friends. And now Pedigo is about to turn 96 years old and he has four great, great grandchildren. We'll have a little bit more from him in the next half hour. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Erin, thank you.